is like the Duran Duran of video games. You know, really big in the 80s, did some great things. Now the only time you hear about him are on countdown shows on VH1. When we see him, it's like, wow, that that is not how I remember him. But I mean, don't get me wrong, Pac-Man's one of gaming's most iconic figures. But let's be honest, that that's a distinction based on work he did 35 years ago. And frankly, if we factored in the stuff he's done since then, stuff like Pac-Man World for the GBA, well, we might have to reconsider that status. But you can't do this kind of crap. Not if you want to be an icon. So, I can only imagine the meeting when something like this... Well, it's it's Pac-Man's 20th anniversary. How do we celebrate? Uh, you, in the corner, how do we celebrate? Only the guy in the corner? Yeah, that was actually the cable guy. He was, he was just there to fix the cable. But he stands up, and he thinks about it, and he says... Well, my kid played a bunch of that Super Mario 64 game back before my wife left me. Oh, thinking outside the box, huh? Let's do it! That was the meeting. That was it. That, and what came of that terrible idea was this terrible idea. So guys, this is Metal Mario Pac-Man. Metal Mario Pac-Man, this is, this is the guys. Well, actually, he can't hear us. He's underwater. You know, where Pac-Man would be! Now, Pac-Man World was originally released on the PlayStation back in 1999. This version came five years later. It's actually pretty close to the original version, but that's part of the problem. The original version, which was supposed to be a 20-year celebration of Pac-Man, somehow ended up feeling more dated and time-specific than the original game. I mean, there was nothing like the original Pac-Man. This Pac-Man? Uh, there's almost nothing this Pac-Man isn't like. So, what is Pac-Man World? Oh, you mean apart from a piece of sh well, it's an isometric platformer, on a handheld. So if you're into things like, oh, I don't know, seeing where you're jumping and properly judging angles, well, I'm afraid I've got some bad news. Not easy to do in Pac-Man World, which makes platforming problematic. But then again, that's the least of the game's problems. What's much more offensive to me is the flagrancy with which this game steals from other games. Hey, Mario, thanks for the metal cap. Uh, mind if I take the butt stomp, too? Oh, and Sonic. Listen, bro, I was just I was just gonna borrow that spin dash, if that's okay. Oh, and I might need a scarf later, if it gets cold. I mean, like, the game design here is just... It's totally pointless. And it's a shame, because you know, this is supposed to be the 20th anniversary Pac-Man game. Man, if, if I were Pac-Man, I'd have been shopping my resume way before this. It doesn't play well, it's shamefully derivative, and even worse, what Pac-Man ideas it does have are more out of place than the stolen ones. Like, there are spots where you get to eat pellets and avoid ghosts, like a Pac-Man maze. Hey, uh, but if you're gonna do a Pac-Man maze, you kinda need a maze, Pac-Man! I thought a maze is just dots. Oh, and the dots are- do the dots are not flash grenades. Like, why?! The presentation's about as generic as you'd expect. Crappy music. And artistically, it's just... Well, we're doing pirate ships, uh, outer space, lava... Um... Hey, someone go play Mario or Donkey Kong or something. See what other levels we should do, because I don't know. I mean, what are we supposed to do? Mazes? Don't be crazy! Biggest stuff you've seen in other games. Not Pac-Man, we have pellets and fruit. That's enough from Pac-Man. Wow, this game really got under my skin, didn't it? That That is a real surprise. So obviously this game irritated me. And it's not because I don't like Pac-Man, it's the opposite, actually. I love Pac-Man. And I want Pac-Man games to be as great as they should be. This whole thing where, oh, we're making Pac-Man platformers? Ugh, get out of here, these Pac-Man platformers. Not only is it generic design, it's lazy design. And for Pac-Man, I mean, like, like how is Pac-Man this? Well, that's easy, because this isn't Pac-Man. Pac-Man's an icon. This is a cash-in of suck. This game sucks. It's Pac-Man world for the Game Boy Advance. Thanks to Alex from Wildwood, Maryland for sending it in, too. This game at least made me feel something. Even if it was uncontrollable rage, at least that's something. Especially for a game that's nothing.